Welcome back. Today I'm going to be taking you through every single thing that I take in my bag, which is this bag over here, to the hospital on a daily basis. After working full time as a doctor for around a year now, I've become a lot more confident about knowing what I do and don't need to pack on a daily basis. So let's dive into the video. Also, I'm very excited to say that I'm starting a newsletter where I'm going to share my favorite things, thoughts, bits and bobs, bonus content, notion templates every single week. So feel free to check out the link below if you're interested in joining and getting access to all that free content. Also feel free to follow me over on Instagram if you're interested. I post daily stories and updates on what I'm up to. So to start with, this is the bag. It is a simple one from Amazon. I think simple sometimes does it best, you know, I don't worry about having to look after it. It's got loads of pockets and loads of sections to it. Uh, I'll include links to everything down below in the description as well if you want to check it out. So in the main section of the bag, the first thing is my Mac. I always bring my computer along just in case I want to do a little bit of extra work during the shift is a, if there's a little bit of downtime. Sometimes it's quiet, that's rare, but sometimes it is. And also sometimes maybe after work I'll want to go to a cafe and do a little bit of work or maybe go to the Imperial College Library as well. I also bring my two journals. So this is my main bullet journal. It's a Leuchtturm 1917 A5 hardcover in a kind of sage green type color. And this is my Shiba Inu business journal, which is where I write about all my YouTube things and figure out how I'm going about the whole YouTube business. So I keep these kind of separate because they're slightly different ways of thinking. And this one, I organize my day to day. I journal about my thoughts and feelings. And in this one, it's a space where I can really like go messy, go wild with journaling and drawing different diagrams and get creative basically, which is also why I chose the Shiba Inu new journal for this one. This was actually a gift from my sister, so thank you Natty for this shout out. On the side of my journal I have two little tabs for pens because each day I use two coloured pens for my daily journaling. So there's a green pen for any titles and writing days of the week etc and also a black pen just for the standard daily journaling. And I've only just started this one quite recently so there's still quite a lot of space in it. Yeah, I always bring this with me because in my bullet journal I write sections on the whole monthly spread, story worthy moments, habit tracker, gratitude tracker, and then a check-in and also some reflections on wheel of life type thing and then a kind of to-do list then the daily log begins. I'll make a whole video about my bullet journal and how I use it and how it integrates with my whole life so stay tuned for that if you're interested. This one I also keep a pen on the side I think it's just so handy when there's a pen attached to the journal because then there's no excuse to, for not writing in it. The next thing is sometimes I will bring along my pencil case so this includes a bunch of colored pens that I sometimes like to use for my bullet journal. It's quite lightweight and small, and sometimes if it's been a quiet on call, which is rare again, I'll have the time to do a bit of doodling my bullet journal and indulge that kind of creative side. Next is my phone charger. So sometimes long on calls, your phone's battery gets drained quite quickly because instead of the traditional bleep system, my hospital has moved to using an app called Alertive on our phones. So basically that drains the phone battery really quickly. This means it's important to have access to some juice when you need. So I've got this at all times. Speaking of my phone, I also take this. I need it for the bleep system. And also it's super handy because there's a bunch of apps that uh, we always use every day. So there's an app that I use basically every single day as a doctor, which is called Induction, which has all the phone numbers for everyone in the hospital, etc. And then there's also the prescribing manual, the BNF, and it has all the prescriptions and doses, etc. And also a medic calculator, MD calc, along with access to things like Talkspace, where there's uh, lots of antidotes and how to deal with different poisonings and different toxins, etc. I also bring my Kindle along because I quite like to read and I can read on my phone, but there's just something special about using a Kindle. I'm currently reading The Power of Now. I'm actually rereading it. I love this book. I would highly recommend it. I'll leave a link down below in case you're interested. The next thing in the main section of the bag is my gym outfit. I go everywhere with this. Whenever I bring my big bag, I bring my gym outfit because then there's no excuses. And if I get a little sliver of energy or motivation after work, then I can hop into my gym outfit and smash out a quick session. So I always bring that along with me. And along with the actual gym clothes, I also have this little slightly ragged tote bag from CERN from like a school trip back when I was like 14. I keep my gym padlock, which is really important for keeping my things secure. I also bring my lifting gloves. These are just simple ones from Everlast that I've had for, they have lasted kind of forever. I've had these for like six years now or something crazy like that. It's just leather lifting gloves, just so that the heavy weights don't like abrade my hands too much and don't give me calluses. 
so that keeps my hands nice and protected and then I also bring a little small round brush with me and this is basically sometimes I get sweaty in the gym and afterwards I just want to like fix my hair and this makes it much more convenient it's quite lightweight it's much smaller than the usual round brushes that I use to style my hair um, it's just like smaller in diameter the next thing that I keep in the main compartment which I'm actually already wearing is my stethoscope so this is a Littmann classic 3 uh, Littmann are just the brand that make the best quality stethoscopes generally everyone basically has a Littmann and it's also engraved with my name I don't know if you can see that Pretty simple, does the job, not really much to say about it. Can have a listen to my heart if I feel like it. And it's also very useful um, because I use it every single day basically to listen to patients' chests. So their breathing and their heart sounds as well. So that also goes in my bag. Another thing in the main section is I always carry an apple with me. I find that it's just a great snack. If there are lots of sweets and crisps and stuff like that in the doctor's office, sometimes those will be very tempting. And if I know I have an apple, I'll be like, you know what? I'm feeling tempted, but actually I'll have my apple first. And if then I'm satisfied, I don't need to have the sweets. But if after I've had the apple I'm like you know what I still want the Harry Bows then I'll go for it and I'll I'll have them anyway. It's not about punishing yourself it's just about giving yourself multiple options so you can try to make a choice that you feel healthier and happier doing but then at the end of the day you've got to treat yourself sometimes. So I always bring my apple along. I also bring my SSD where I keep all my video files for the projects that I'm currently working on. So this basically means that I can very easily work on the go. This is a really lightweight this is just a two terabyte portable SSD by Samsung um, and so that's it's really nice for creative work and being able to pack that along with me. To facilitate that I have this little just bought from Amazon dongle which allows my MacBook to plug into various different things including my SSD or any SD cards that I might need as well. Finally, I've got a pair of chopsticks, disposable chopsticks just floating in my bag. I guess at some point I got some kind of takeaway and I was like, oh, these will be useful in case there's no cutlery again in the doctor's mess. Um, often there's no cutlery available in the doctor's office or the restroom. And so often you're just left with a bunch of butter knives, which I've had to eat my lunch with more times than I'd like to admit. Yeah, the two butter knife method is something I've worked on and honed very much this year. It's not something I'd really love to continue so I think at one point I was like you know what, I'll just pack my chopsticks along just in case so that's everything in the main section on the sides of the bag I keep this trusty water bottle this is the Lark bottle which basically in the lid there's this UVC light which can sterilize the inside of the bottle and kill off any bacteria in there uh, that's why it charges I once got asked by my consultant why my water bottle charges and what possible function that could have but that's why it does that um, it keeps the water nice and fresh this is quite an expensive bottle I will say so it's not necessarily the first thing that you should invest your money in so yeah it's quite expensive but Quite nice if you can have it and I like this pink colour. Then on the other side of the bag I keep this little handy umbrella. Often when walking to and from the station it might be raining or miserable. I do live in London and so we've got to prepare. Failing to prepare is preparing to fail. So this little umbrella from Totes. I just bought it at one point when there was a massive thunderstorm and I was like oh dear I'm gonna get absolutely soaked. So it's got a cute pattern on it, not much more to say about it, it's quite slim and compact and has this little outer sheath that's quite handy. The next section is the front section. So in the front pocket, this is actually where I keep my badge. So I will keep this NHS badge and I also keep two hair clips and an extra hairband on my lanyard at all times because you never know when you'll need to clip my like my fringe sometimes it gets a bit long and falls on my face and if I'm doing a procedure that needs a lot of concentration or if I'm sterile and have to scrub then I can't be pushing back my hair all the time so these two little hair clips like little bobby pin type things are really handy for that so I keep those with me and I also keep a spare hairband just in case my other one breaks and I can't be going around the wards with hair down like this because it's an infection risk then coming to this itself there's my smart card on one side and then my badge on the other side which which gives me access to the whole hospital and the lanyard as well a little bit scuffed and broken but it still does the job then other things I have in the front section I also bring a big proper scrunchie a hair clip as well <laughs> you can see that I there was one shift where my hairband broke and I didn't have a backup and it was so frustrating because whenever I went to see a patient I was like okay I need to like somehow tie up my hair so I was using like a rubber band which caught on my hair and was like really painful and then I was trying all these other methods so now I bring literally like three spare hair tying devices so clip big scrunchie and also 
portable little one that I keep on my lanyard. In this section, I also have some medicine as well. So I have some antihistamines, I have a nut allergy, and then also some paracetamol and painkillers. I also keep some eye drops. So sometimes with long on-call shifts, you can get quite dehydrated because you're on your feet and busy. And so sometimes my eyes will get really dry. Obviously the best thing to do is to rehydrate and I try to do that as well, but sometimes a quick fix of just some soothing eye drops is quite helpful. I also pack a set of earplugs. These are just some foam disposable earplugs. Sometimes at night it's quite nice to be able to sleep. So I bring those along. In this section, I also have this Apple Watch band, which is a longer one, which actually fits around my arm here. So instead of keeping this metal one, we're meant to be bare below the elbow. So from here downwards, we're not meant to wear rings. So these will come off. We're not meant to wear watches because it's an infection risk because we need to be able to wash our hands and sort of up to our like mid wrist thoroughly between seeing patients. So when I'm at work, I switch the band for my Apple Watch to this one so I can attach it up here around my bicep and still track my steps and also have access to all the watch features. I also carry three pen-like things. The first one is a multi-pen. This is so helpful because often when writing notes or writing down jobs, it's nicer to categorize them by color. So I keep this multicolored pen. Then this is a pen torch. As you can see, this is used for checking people's pupils and also has a handy pupil guide on the side of it to show you, so you can figure out how big a person's pupils are and if they're equal and reactive to light. Then I have a combination, which is a pen. So you can open the pen like this. And also on the other side, there's a pen torch. So you can slide that forward and then the light turns on. So this one's quite nice to take on busy on calls or like night shifts because you just have one pen, it has your pen torch and also your writing pen for writing anything that you need. Next, I have a slightly crumpled antibacterial antiseptic wipe, just in case, I guess, <laughs> stay fresh. And I also have a roll of transport. So this is essentially like medical tape. It's quite handy to have some with you. I have a tiny pot of a lip balm. This is really helpful when you get dry lips, just like with dry eyes, you can get dry lips as well on long shifts. So this is a lifesaver. I also sometimes use it on dry skin. If So when we have to wear masks in clinical areas, that can actually make my skin feel really dry around my like, nose and mouth. So I sometimes actually use some of this just to soothe those areas. Then I have my wallet and my cards and things like that, including my driver's license. I have kept it in my little like uni, wallet here and then i have some soothers as well in case i get cough or like a dry throat i bring some chewing gum and also a nail file once or twice i've broken my nail at work and it was really frustrating when i had just like a broken like hang nail going around the hospital i kind of wanted to rip it off i kind of also didn't want to rip it off because i knew that would go badly so i always take a tiny mini nail file this is just like a free one that um i got at a hotel one time, like just a disposable one. So I thought, oh, you know, I'll just keep that. I also bring a little cloth mask just in case I go somewhere that needs one. And then I also keep some coffee, loyalty cards, and also my library access card. It's quite nice to just pop to the library. It's on site. So if I just want to study something or do a little bit of work, that's very convenient. The next section is this middle pocket here. In this section is where I keep a bunch of makeup items, skincare items, and a hairbrush. So this is my little hairbrush. It's just a kind of portable one that just pops out like that. I absolutely love this. It's also a mirror, but unfortunately I've cracked it. So I think that's apparently like seven years bad luck or something for me, so oh well. Um, it used to have a little totter on it when I bought it. I don't know if you can see any of that anymore, um, but it's kind of rubbed off because I've literally used this for like seven years of my life. I probably need an upgrade, but I've just become kind of sentimental and a bit attached to it. Um, but yeah, that's super handy just to brush my hair. I also bring a tiny thing of deodorant. You can get very sweaty, especially if there's a crash call or medical emergency. So this is quite nice to just freshen up. I also take a teeny, teeny bottle of perfume just in case. So I have this one Tender Light from Estee Lauder. Uh, that's pretty nice as well. I like that it's such a cute, tiny bottle. It just sparks joy to use. I don't know about you, but just like tiny miniatures that are designed beautifully. Just they have a place in my heart. <laughs> Next, I have my sunscreen. So my typical sunscreen is the Altris Face Fluid 50 SPF. This is actually the Hada Labo Perfect UV Gel SPF 50 plus PA plus 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 plus. 
uh, four pluses, that's four pluses, <laughs> sorry, I lose track. Um, this one is a great broad spectrum gel type sunscreen. It's really nice, I really like the texture of it. It's, it's absolutely lovely to use basically and it's quite a compact little thing. So I bring that along and as you can see, it's just like it applies like really nicely. Um, so use that sometimes. And then I've got some makeup items. Oh, another hair clip. I think that one experience where I had their hair band has really left a deep psychological mark on me. So in terms of makeup items, I have a face powder. Sometimes again, it can get sweaty and shiny at work. So face powder and then also a tiny little brush like this to apply the powder. I also take some other makeup items because sometimes after work I might go out for dinner or drinks and um, so then it's nice to have that backup of knowing that I do have some makeup items so I can make myself look human again if need be. So I take this little br blush, not brush, blush along and some brow stuff, a bit of concealer, some lip gloss and also a lipstick as well. And so that's usually enough for me to feel nice again and freshen up after maybe like a 10, 13 hour shift, something like that. In this section as well, I keep any feminine products that I need and otherwise that's basically it for that section. The final section is maybe the most important and it's this teeny tiny section at the very front. This is where I keep all the things that I have to use very frequently. Number one, my Oyster card. I commute by tube, so this is the, the London Underground for anyone unfamiliar. And so yeah, this is my Oyster card, which is the tube pass that we have to use. Um, you can also just use contactless, but I quite using, like using the Oyster card itself because it sort of separates it from everything else. Then I also have a British Museum membership card. So actually I have, I carry two because I carry my own one and also my dad's one because I bought a joint membership for us so we can go and enjoy the museum together. That's been such a nice thing to do and I'd really recommend if you have any relatives or friends who enjoy going to the museum together, then buying a little joint membership where you can go to all the exhibitions and have like VIP entry, that kind of thing. is actually a really nice way to invest in the relationship and also have a great reason to be like, hey, why don't we go to the British Museum next weekend? Uh, I have a similar thing as well for the Tate Modern as well, which I really like. Then other things I have in this section, I have my keys and then I have my trusty AirPods and these I use them on the commute every single day. Speaking of my commute, one of my favourite times to do during this time is learn. If you're passionate about lifelong learning like me, you might be interested to hear about Brilliant who are kindly sponsoring this video. Brilliant is one of the best ways to learn maths, computer science and data science in an interactive and intuitive way. I've been enjoying working through their computer science courses, especially their course on neural networks, because AI has been popping off lately. I'm sure you've seen the, the absolute tsunami wave of AI apps and of course ChatGPT, which has been taking over the world. And the course has helped me to understand more deeply how AI and machine learning actually works under the bonnet. Crucially, I love that you can make real progress to understanding these kinds of big concepts in just a couple of minutes each day, either on the app or the website, it's really convenient. And you can even do this on your daily commute. Thank you so much again to Brilliant for sponsoring this video. If you'd like to check them out, you can use my link to get a free 30 day trial at brilliant.org forward slash Izzy. And the first 200 people will also get a 20% discount on Brilliant's annual plan. So that's basically everything. I've made this lovely pile of <laughs> all the things that have come out of my bag, which I'm just gonna have to put back in again in some reasonable order. I hope that's been kind of interesting in some kind of way and given you a bit of an insight into my day job. If you enjoyed this video, I think you might enjoy this video over here where I give you a tour of my room as a medical student at Cambridge. Thank you so much for watching. As always, take care of yourself and I will see you in the next video. Bye.